The aim for this project was to make a particle mouse for my brother, who is an engineer. He uses a regular mouse a lot and his wrist gets swollen all the time, so I wanted to make one for him. I was pretty sure that I was not the first one who thought of this, so I looked for a 3D model on the internet and I found one on Thingiverse. Thank you, Spooner2011. The problem was that it's a left-handed model, so I had to find a way to mirror it for a right-handed. I found it here, you can see the Tinkercad. It was pretty straightforward, just a few clicks and I got the right-handed version. After that I saved the file in STF format and it was ready to print. The next thing was to find a place to print it. My university, the University of Pécs, Hungary, has this PTE 3D project. Sent them the file to print it. They do stuff on various fields, from medical to natural sciences. So I sent them the files and they printed it with SLS technology. They said that it's suitable for my needs, so I just agreed. And after a few days I get the actual print, which I was very, very happy with. So the next step was to put something in it. I had this old mouse around, it had an issue with the left click. It always double clicked when I just clicked once. Uh, during this project I realized how easy it is to replace this um, micro switch. So I could just fix it. I tried to determine the pinout for this microcontroller, but soon I realized it's not giving me all the information. For example, it didn't give me the correct pins for the scroll. So I did a Google search for 8083 and I found a datasheet. It was very straightforward. So now I was able to um, connect the wires to the correct places. There were some problems with the size of the control board. I had to cut a few things out. It was not a problem because I needed those switches and the scroll mechanism on other places. I salvaged a few other mouses with, which had uh, working micro switches. I used pieces of prototyping strip boards to mount the switches. I screwed up a few, but um, in the end I managed to make one that suits my needs. I know it's not pretty and I'm not that good at soldering, but hey, the cover is fortunately not transparent, so I needed a way to fix everything in place. The bottom was quite tricky. There was a lens or a mirror or something in the bottom for the sensor and actually I had to uh, put it in an angle in order to get it work and the bottom plate was a bit too thick to detect the movements of the mouse correctly, so I have had to sand it a bit and I had to be careful because it started to deform because of the heat, so that was not the best idea. But then I managed to get it work. As you can see, that doesn't have any purpose, but I decided to leave the LEDs in it. Now it can left click, right click, do a scroll, scroll click. Uh, it has a DPI switch. It, it has a forward and the, and the backwards button. So a few remarks. This model didn't have an option to fit a double click button. The microcontroller has that option and uh, the original mouse didn't have, have a double click button at all. And during the savaging of the old mouses I found a few interesting things. These circuit boards look very nice in my opinion and the movement detection mechanism was pretty interesting for me because it uses this, this light gate technology. It consists of an infrared light source and a detector and it uh, detects the blackouts of the infrared light. I intend to use it in future projects. So in conclusion it was a very fun project. I spent many hours with it and I'm pretty sure that it would be cheaper to just buy a vertical mouse. I like the idea that you can easily adjust the size of the mouse for example. So thank you for the attention.